Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to show you how to create variables in Golang. There is the multiple way how variable can be created. Let's explore each of them. So first uh, way is to use the var keyword. And next I need to specify parameter name. For example, let's specify something like level. And next I need to provide the integer. And in this case, I'm not assigning any value to the parameter, like to the variable value, but I would still have some result. This is because when I initialize variable like that, it will have some kind of called default value for particular type. For example, for string, it will be the empty string. For integer, it is a, should be zero. And now let's try to run. So I executed the code and I got the zero. And now I can change the value of this variable. For example, I can specify something like 10 and I can run the code and I've got the 10. Uh, also, when I'm creating the variable with the var keyword, I can move it outside of the function. I can specify it right here and my code still will work in the same way. So if you will assign 10, it will have the 10. Once I delete that, I would receive the zero. And if I need to create the multiple variables, I can do, of course, like var level, var something, name, string, and I can continue like that. Or I can omit all this var word, and I can just add parentheses right here, delete this var, and let's move it to the new location. And this is how I can create multiple uh, parameter va variables in the GoLang without multiple of our keyboard. But now let's try to run the code. And it print me zero. So another way how I can create the variables is assign value. So like this is, will be like the same way, but I can specify after type, I can specify equal sign and specify the value. So I can run. I'm going to delete this name because we don't need it. So I can run. I got 10. I can change this to the 15. And I will get 15. Uh, but since I'm using, like I'm assigning the uh, already value 15, Golang can automatically identify type. So I can just omit integer and no changes from the code. And if I need the multiple variables, I can do in the similar similar way, something like this. And then I can run the code and I got the value. And final way, how can I create the variables? It's without var keyword at all. So I can specify something like this level equal to 10. This will create new variable for me and I can run the 10. If I want to reassign this value later, I can specify 15 and I will get the 15. But there is the, like you cannot use this variable outside of function. So if I specify level here outside of the function and I will call, I got the error that no declaration statement outside function body. That when I'm using this declaration, I need to use it only inside of the function. Uh, let's talk about naming conventions. Uh, so if variable start, like have just one word, for example, as here, level, it can start from the lowercase or from the uppercase. Let's create it right here. So I can do something like this, level, or I can do lowercase level. So what's the difference? So if I'm using this variable inside of the my package, I can... I should use the lowercase because that means this variable is not exported for uh, to use in other packages. But if I want my variable to be accessible from other packages, I should start it with uppercase. In this case, I can change value or use this variable outside of the my package. But what if a variable has two worlds? For example, I can do something like hero level. And first word is the same. If I need it to be exported, I'm, I'm starting with the uppercase. And if I don't need this variable to be exported, I start with the lowercase letter. 
but second word is always uppercase. So this is like the naming convention in the Go lang. So first, first letter you decide if you need to export this variable or don't. And like second word letter is always uppercase. And next, what I want to show is the variable conversion. For example, I'm I'm going to define here variables, variable like integer. But I want this to be in the float. So I can easily convert this by using corresponding function. I can create a new variable, level float, and I can use method of float64, for example, to convert this value level. And now I can print, but I can use printf. And I'm going to use here percent %v and percent %t to show the variable uh, content and variable type. So I, I would print level float, level float. So now let's run the code. And 10 and type is float64 because I converted. But let's try to convert this to the string. So I can do level string. And let's change something to one, two, three, for example. And I'm going to print level string, level string. What's going to happen? As you may see, I received the curly braces, not the string of one, two, three. And even Golang, like, tell me that it will won't do what I'm expecting. So why this happened? Because how Golang transformed. Uh, so it's just take, when I call the string method, it just take Unicode symbol under position one, two, three. And if I will open this page, you will see that under one, two, three, I have left curly bracket. So that's why uh, the cur curly bracket was displayed. So, but how can I convert the string um, integer to the string? There is the package, which is called strconf. And I can use integer to ath key and I can specify here my level. And once I run right now, I got value one, two, three and type of the string. Also there is in Golang such thing as shadowing. So let's try to use this. So let me create level with value one. And here inside I'm going to print uh, this value level right and I'm going to set new value for the level I'm going to print this level and let me create another method which is which we call print level and this will be a very simple method to just call this print line level and I'm just going to call this method right here. So what's going to happen right now? So first, it will be print value one. Then I'm assigning to the level, I'm assigning value 20. Then I'm printing the, this value 20. And then I'm calling the method print level, which also should print the level. But in this case, it should print the one. Let's try. Uh, oh, it's printed 20 because I made that mistake so it should be like this so yeah so what's happening here i'm creating the new variable level and here i'm like this will be package level variable and here i'm creating the same variable but it will be uh, the function level variable so at, at this point of time we are printing the package level variable here i'm creating this this uh, uh, function level variable and it's kind of share like override not not really override but hide this variable this one still exists but in the function we know that level should be used this it's, it's called the shadowing that's why here it's printed 20 but when I'm trying to call print level from another function which which print just this global value I'm getting one again so this is called shadowing so that's all what I wanted to show today Thank you for your attention. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to don't miss a new video. Have a nice day.